Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the Ink Equation feature in Microsoft Excel. You can see on this worksheet that I have fictitious data and I use it to show how a correlation coefficient is calculated. And here in the upper right of the worksheet I have the equation for the correlation coefficient otherwise known as R. And you can see that if I click into this object on this equation, this can be modified in Excel. So I'm going to show you how to use the ink equation feature to build an equation, and specifically I'm going to build this equation for the correlation coefficient. So if I move over to the next worksheet, I have the same equation, just in larger font. And I'm going to go to Insert. So here to the right, you see we have the equation button. And if you use this down arrow, the ink equation is the last option. But I'm going to hit the pi symbol. And it brings up equation tools design. And the ink equation is over here on the left. Now before I use the ink equation feature to build this equation, I want to show you that there are symbols available here and structures so that you can build equations without having to use the ink equation feature. And there's a lot of different symbols available, basic math, Greek letters, operators, and others, and many structures available as well. So if you are building a lot of equations, it may be quicker to learn these structures and get familiar with these symbols and build the equations that way. But for once in a while, I think the ink equation feature is a good choice. So I'm going to click on ink equation, and it brings up what Excel refers to as the math input control. And it's fairly straightforward. You have a preview area, you have an area where you write the equation, and you have four options down here, write, erase, select, and correct, and clear. So I'm going to move this window over to the right a bit so I can see the entire equation that I want to reproduce. So I'll get started putting the equation in. I'm going to start with R and equal sign. And notice that the preview does not match what I intended, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to continue on here. And I want sigma for the numerator. It's going to start the numerator. I try to keep these lines as as accurate as I can. And open parenthesis x minus x bar and then close parenthesis. Now you can see that it's not using parentheses here in this case. So I have a few choices. I can try select and correct or erase. And I didn't really get this parenthesis in a manner that looks like parenthesis. That's why it doesn't show up that way. So let me try again. Try to make it more rounded. And then x minus x bar. And you can see now it has parentheses as I intended. And then again, open parenthesis y minus y bar and of course my handwriting far from perfect here but Excel picked it up y minus y bar and then we need a line because this is a fraction and again I'll try to get this as accurately drawn as I can But again, it is far from perfect. But I'm going to continue on. And next we have square root symbol. I'll put that in. I'll make this line long enough to get the denominator underneath there. So I have to move this over. And then it's going to be sigma. Again, x minus 
x bar. It did pick that up correctly. And then this is all squared, so I'm going to put a 2 here. And then it will start again with sigma. And these symbols uh, that I'm drawing, I mean, with my handwriting, it leaves a lot to be desired for these equations. And to Excel's credit, it does seem to be picking up most of the symbols as I intended. So y minus y bar and close parenthesis and then another 2. Now you'll notice here that these expressions are both squared but in the preview the, the 2 for y minus y bar is much higher than x minus x bar. But I'm not going to worry about that either. I'm just going to insert the equation and I'm going to make this a little easier to see by increasing the size of the font uh, quite a bit. Let's go to um, 36 and I'll move this over and you can see that it now keeps these twos at the same level. So this equation uh, looks fairly good, right? R equals the sum of x minus x bar times y minus y bar divided by the root of the sum of x minus x bar squared times the sum of y minus y bar squared. So even with imperfect handwriting, uh, Excel picked up fairly well, and I was able to reproduce the equation here up in the left corner. I hope you found this video on using the ink equation feature in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.